and he was stranded in the Sahara Desert. Emil was about 25 miles from Tantan, which is possible to reach on foot, but he runs the risk of theft in the extremes of the desert. Emile Leray decided that he would not risk walking to the nearest town. I could not have gone back on foot. It was too far, he said. Emile had many valuables and important equipment he did not want to leave alone. In the desert, nothing is permanently lost, especially for the ones who know where to look. He could not communicate with anyone as mobile phones did not exist then. He realized that he was in a precarious situation as he was many miles away from the nearest town. He also had little food and water. I put myself in what one calls survival mode. I decided I will eat and drink less and monitor my supplies of water and food to make them last as long as possible, he says. Emil organizes his encampment around the broken 2CV and reflects on the situation. He had enough food and water to last for a few days, so makes a decision. From his wreck, he will build a two-wheeled machine.